What is up everybody? It's your boy Brando here with Brando Reviews and today we are checking out this Autofix 3210, the Autofix 32100 Bluetooth OBD2 car reader. So you can pick this up on Amazon for $50. There is a 30% off coupon code, so that's actually pretty significant. So that'll bring the cost down quite a bit. So you can pick this up for well under $40. Um, basically what this does is you plug it into your car's OBD2 port and it will tell you all sorts of information about your car. That information includes reading codes and erasing codes, smog tests, data streams, so you can see live information on your car. It also checks your evaporation system, general reports, DCT code lookup, so it'll tell you exactly what's wrong if you pull a code on your car. Freeze frame, so you can find out exactly what's happening at certain stages in your car. O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, you can read your battery voltage, vehicle information, and a ton more. So like I said, this is $50 on Amazon. You can see it right here. There's an app you download. There's an Android and iOS app, and that lets you see everything that you want to see from the app about your vehicle. So everything will come to your phone. You don't have to do anything with the car. So it's very convenient, honestly. Here's a quick look at the back here. As you can see, it just says fault code reader. There's some information down there at the bottom about the company Autofix, and there's not much else to see there. So yeah guys, this is the actual device right here itself, the Autofix 3210 OBD2 reader. You can see the connectors here. This generally plugs in under the steering wheel on the driver's side into the OBD2 reader. Um, as long as your vehicle is made, I believe after 97, you should have this, and then you can do everything with the app through this. So it's like a rubbery sort of material with the red. This is rubber, this is plastic, so it sort of feels nice in the hand. Um, you won't, it won't drop or fall out of your hand. Nice rubber, nice grips here. Not that that really matters, but that's nice. Seems like a button there, but I don't believe that is an actual button. And you have a light down here on the bottom. So this light will shine when it is uh, turned on and in different stages if it's connected or not. There's a little better look at the light right there. So we're going to put that back in there. And here's a quick look at the instructions here. As you guys can see, I can get the focus a little better. We'll start up here. You can see it just talks about how to connect it to the app. And if you need to pause on any of these, feel free to. Just a quick look at that manual right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to plug it into the car and we'll take a look at the app. So here we are down here in the wheel well of the BMW. So in my car specifically, you're going to move up here and you're going to see up here on the side here, the actual OBD2 connector just going to align your adapter with it make sure you put it on the right way unlike i just did you're going to squeeze it up in there you can see the light came on right there and it's connected to my car now so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go back up top and we're going to put the car in accessory or on either way so guys the next step is just to simply turn the vehicle on or put it in accessory if you have a push button like me all you got to do is press it once or you can also press the brake and uh, turn the car on completely Alternatively, if you have a key, put it in accessory or you can crank it all the way up. So very simple. And now we're gonna go over to our phone and connect it to Bluetooth and the app. All right, guys. So if you have an iPhone, you're going to download the OBD2 Mate app. It's the same if you have an Android too. So first go ahead and download that app. Then if you have an iPhone, make sure you have your Bluetooth turned on. And then all you have to do is click the OBD Mate app right there. I keep trying to say OBD2 Mate app, the OBD Mate app and it will automatically connect to Bluetooth or prompt you to connect to Bluetooth. If you have an Android, you're gonna have to go to your Bluetooth settings in your settings and actually manually connect it via Bluetooth. So we're gonna press the OBD2 Mate, OBD Mate app right here. You can see up here, it says Autofix 3210. I just clicked it once. And then you could also press up there, automatically connect each time. I didn't do that. So here it is, my car is in the uh, ignition position. It is not turned on, it is just an accessory. You can see it already did some of these automatic detections. You can turn that off down below. We'll press okay. You can see diagnostic here, nothing here. You can clear your codes down here if you have a code to clear. You can also rescan down here too. So you can clear codes, I really like that. And then you have a record up here which shows you everything that any codes that it's found before. So it's very nice that it has that little record so you can keep up to date with everything and organize it too. So you have your dashboard over here. It tells you your RPMs and etc. Let's go ahead and turn the vehicle on. The vehicle just started up. You can see the RPMs down there of my car right now. You can see down here some different information. And you can change it from kilometers an hour and Celsius to uh, 
uh, miles per hour and Fahrenheit too in the settings. Um, I'll show you that in a second here. This is some information on the vehicle here, as you can see, all sorts of different information. Let me give it some gas there, some spark information, all sorts of technical stuff in here. So we're gonna go ahead and go back here and we're going to move down to settings here and I'm gonna change the units to English. They misspelled English, but you know, good effort all around. So we're gonna to go to dashboard again. You can see it is in uh, miles per hour in Fahrenheit now. A little more uh, down my alley over here in America. So we'll go ahead and get out of that. Mass airflow sensor, mass airflow at the top left there as you saw. Here is the monitor settings. You can see catalyst monitoring unfinished, heated catalyst, all of that is unsupported on my vehicle. However, you can see up here, no misfires, fuel system is good and comprehensive component monitoring is good and finished. Over here is a performance test. This is my miles per hour over here and my uh, RPMs over there. Let's go ahead and press start Three, here just to see. Two, Please adjust the speed to zero. One, go. Okay, so it's a little like zero to 60 countdown timer there. Um, go ahead and press up here. You can see you can screenshot it style, get it in a report format here. So we might test that out in a bit. Not sure, but that is really cool. I've tested this on my friend's vehicle before. We've used this for some runs and it's actually pretty fun. Down here is a battery check. My vehicle is running right now. Um, if the vehicle is not running, I think it was about 12.8 earlier. That's actually pretty high. Let's go over here. Um, yeah, it's a BMW. Uh, yeah, um, that's that's not really not good, but that's why we buy these kind of devices so we can find out what is happening with our voltage. It should really be below 14.8, but let me turn the vehicle off real quick so you guys can see what it drains down to in a resting position here. So voltage reference when vehicle is off, it should be below 12.8 before starting. And that is a little high, but it has gone down. See, it's going down more here. I think we're just about fine. We'll check that again in a second here. So you have your settings there before. We saw that earlier. You can change all sorts of things here um, about us. Trip over here, you can press this. Told you some more information on each trip that you've taken, your miles per hour all of that, your highest speed you made in that trip, your highest RPM, average speed. My car tells me a lot of this stuff already. However, if not, you have it all here and conveniently ready to go. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the car on one more time. And then you see you have your EVAP system down here. Inside the diagnostic here, we quickly checked out the clear code and trouble code section of this. However, we also have down here at the bottom freeze frame. There's no freeze frames right now. You can also see your data streams here. You can see my RPMs down there at the bottom, 721 right now. Also the VSS at the top right there and not much else to see right there. Now on the last one here, you have the diagnose report right here and you can run a report by pressing the button at the top there and it will go through everything and tell you if there's any trouble codes or anything uh, to worry about. And that generally takes a little bit of time. As you can see, it's at 42% right now, and then it sort of jumps to 80% before jumping to 100%. So we'll go ahead and give that one second here, 71%, 100%, and then you can go ahead and read through all of these information, all of this information right here. Okay, so just a quick look at that right there. We're going to go ahead and go all the way back here. And the only other thing we sort of missed before is in the performance test zone right here. You can see it tells you your miles per hour on the left right here, as well as your RPMs on the right. I'm going to hit the accelerator. As you can see, it shoots up when I hit it. Pretty uh, responsive, honestly, and uh, very easy to use for accelerating tests. So this can do zero to 60, zero to 100, whatever speed you run, it'll tell you how fast you did it in. So that's really cool. Um, you can see up here at the top here, you can change the style, style two, just different information here. Also have a horsepower test over here. As you can see down there at the bottom, it tells you the vehicle weight or an estimation of it based on the information. That's actually pretty, pretty accurate, surprisingly accurate. And it'll tell you the horsepower the car is generating. 
and the rpms and the miles per hour the vss miles per hour up there at the top as we saw in the uh different portions of this app actually it's uh, a lot of duplicate information but good information press start real quick so we already checked out this information in the monitoring section we also have the o2 sensors here this lets you check out the o2 sensor data you can see right here a lot of it is not showing much but down here at the bottom you can see uh all of that looks good you have obmt right here onboard monitoring test you can see here it runs a bunch of different information here. I'm just getting a bunch of zeros, so uh, a few different informations here, lots of stuff. And then we have vehicle information on the last tab right here. And that covers just about everything in this app. We are just driving around now, guys, so you guys can see some of this live information here. We're going to start with miles per hour and RPMs. Oh wow, look at the Miata go. <laughs> so there you go guys, this is a quick look at the Autofix 3210 uh, OBD2 car reader right here. As you guys can see, and from what I saw in my experience with this, I've had this for a few months now, I've let some friends use it too. It is a great device. You can really clear codes with it. You can find out information about your vehicle. You can see live information. And of course, you can run those zero to 60 timers or those various timers in the settings there. If you're more of a performance oriented guy and you wanna see some of that cool stuff, it has all of that in there, which I like a lot, as well as obviously the miles per hour, the RPMs that are live, and it all logs it so you can see your information later and uh, use that as you will. So I think that's very cool. So it's a very cool device, especially considering the price, $50, 30% off right now. So it's like pretty cheap and you just keep this plugged into your vehicle all the time and you'll never have to worry about it again. You just go to your app whenever you wanna check out some information and it's there for you. So if you guys wanna purchase this, there will be a link down below. If you guys have any questions or comments about this Autofix OBD2 reader device right here, leave them down below, I'll get right back to you. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. Hope you guys have a good one. See you later.